Hi folks, welcome to Weekends with Adam the Bloke. Very short little video today. Uh, we have a problem with one of our cars. I suspect an air leak, uh, sucking in some unmetered air into the engine. Various ways you can test for these. I know that you can spray something like carb cleaner or brake fluid around the engine and when you hear changes in the engine speed or engine note then you're in the right area of a leak. I've tried that not very successfully on this particular occasion although I will say I have had success with it in the past and today I'm going to show you I've made a little smoke machine which we'll connect up to the engine and see if we can find the leak that way. I did look at buying one of these machines but they're remarkably expensive for a DIY like me who might use one only occasionally so we've got a DIY version of it. So what have we got? Here I've got a jar. In the bottom of that jar I have a rag which I have soaked in mineral oil. Mineral oil burns very smoky. Here I have the lid to the jar. And as you can see, I've drilled three holes into that lid. Into one, I have epoxied a soldering iron. And at the top of the soldering iron with the cable in, I've had to put some sealant in there to stop smoke coming up through there. I've also fitted two Schrader valves. In one valve, I've taken the centre out of it and I've fitted some heat shrink around it. And that's just to make it the right size for a hose that I'm going to connect. In the other hole, I've fitted the Schrader valve and I've left the innards in that. I'm going to connect a pump to that, which will push air into the jar and push the smoke out through the hose. So, let's put it together and hopefully see it in action. So, hopefully we can see that our jar has been to fill with smoke. And I've got my pump and my hose attached to it. I'm just using my, uh, my track pump for my bike but you could use a foot pump for a car or actually you might be able to use one of the small tyre compressors um, but given that it's a glass jar I figure I'd, uh, I'd rather be in control with a hand pump um, you could probably use a, a large tin or, or, or something like that maybe no paint tin but I didn't have one and um, the idea of using a Schrader valve was that I could just connect the bike pump to it however it turned out that the um, the valve head on the top of my pump is playing up, so I've just taken the, the hose and connected it directly on. Okay, let's see if we can find any holes in our engine. Here, if we follow my hose up, I've simply connected it to the location where the vacuum hose for the brake servo normally connects. Now, of course, there could be a leak in that hose too, or in the brake servo. Quite frankly, it's very difficult to get in to disconnect the other end. So at the moment, I'm going to try um, this end if we still have an issue and don't feel that we've um, found the problem. And indeed, I will do a, a before and after test on the fuel trims. Um, then uh, I can look at that uh, route. But at the moment, this is uh, an easy, easy point to connect to. I've taken the air mass flow meter off, sealed off the end of the pipe with a glove or a couple of gloves, I think it is, and uh, a Jubilee clip. I'm just going to start pumping and having a good look around and let's see if we can find any smoke. We will see our little glove just inflate a little bit. So we can see some smoke coming out the back of here. I hope that's showing up in camera. This is just underneath where the air inlet comes in. I need to delve a little deeper, but hopefully you can see the smoke machine is working. So, there you go, the smoke machine works, and we've found a potential source of our problem that will need to be uh, investigated and fixed, and we'll see how we get on with that. Um, now, I'm no doctor, but I don't imagine it's particularly good for you to breathe in lots and lots of, of this smoke burnt from, from the mineral oil, um, so I would always try and keep that to a minimum. Might want to wear a mask it does smell um, but uh, that's entirely up to you what you do with that i've just shown you how to make a smoke machine <laughs> all right well thanks for joining us 
on uh, this video and thanks for watching weekends with adam the bloke